Hello, Jack Ewans here. Um, I was just thinking about how I was going to do this video, but then I sort of ended on just thinking, you know what, screw it, I'm just going to go through it and explain along the way. So, this is the sort of first part of my collection. Now I'm going to start over here, where it all began with uh, the first Jurassic Park no novel, which is here. There, which I've got that there, nice. I like the cover, because it's very much like the film. And then I've got the second one, and I've got both in hardback, which I really like. I've got, uh, here we've got the v original VHS of Jurassic Park, which I absolutely adore, and I remember getting this. And inside it's even got this uh, cool little booklet that has uh, pictures in from the film and all that sort of stuff. And I've got my Lost World one, I always remember this getting this one, because it was from Christmas I remember getting it for. So I had to wait like months to get that. And this is the making of The Lost World as a VHS. I found this in a charity shop not too long ago for about, I think it says 70p, 50p or whatever that was. But anyway, yeah, I just thought that would be cool to add to a collection. And obviously I've got the DVDs here, the uh, Ultimate Collection, which I absolutely adore. It's like my Bible. I've got the theme from Jurassic Park here, which is kind of like the single. I mean, it's only got two tracks. This is really old. I mean, this has got wear and tear on it. But it's also got a poster inside, which is really interesting. But... The poster is basically ruined, but I've still got it. Uh, I've got the album here from Jurassic Park 1. It's got all the awesome tracks on it. Be one of the best scores ever. And then we move on to games. I've got Operation Genesis, which is also one of my favourite games of all time, because I loved... When I found out they were going to do a roller coaster of the tycoon-type game, I absolutely flipped out. I thought it was the best thing ever. Um, I heard the PC one's a little bit better, because you get to have more dinosaurs in your park, but still, it's an awesome game. Lost World for PS1, love this game, and to my friend Ross who might watch this, <coughs> which is the noise uh, Dieter Stark makes in that, and we felt that was pretty funny. Uh, Trespasser for the PC I've got here, but the thing is I've lost the front, I've got the back here. That was an awesome game, a bit weird, I mean you could look down at the woman's breasts who you played, that was a bit odd. Here I've got my Game Boy game, I've got uh, the original Dress Park which is really old. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Jurassic Park, man. Let's go, let's play. That game is... To be honest, I'm going to tell you, this game is a load of shit. <laughs> but it's good fun at the time. The Empire magazine, which uh, is interesting because when it was released, it was Arnold for the last action hero. Nice picture of Arnold. Um, there he is, look. I'll be back. And I've got... Um, yeah, it's just got this awesome bloody Jurassic Park section in it. It's big. Yeah, it's too right. And uh, they talk about that, which is awesome, and they review it and give it five stars. Got some original Jurassic Park film frames. I'm going to have to take these up to the light. And you got you got Sam Neill there. And uh, the Spinosaurus chasing near the fence. Original film cells. That was pretty darn cool. Got... Jurassic Park and Lost World annuals, which are really nice. I've got this classic Jurassic Park comic, which is the original first film. Or was a comic. This came out last year, but I only got this recently. Uh, I thought it was awesome, because I actually had one of the parts, which I'll show you in a second, to that. I've got this little Lost World micro facts book. I found this up in the attic. I forgot about it completely. It's got these tiny little books about all the different dinosaurs. It's pretty cool. Along with the Lost World storybook. I found up there and I forgot I'd had it. And Jurassic Park, oh sorry, Lost World stickers. Uh, missing loads, but you know, still got some. Uh, making of Jurassic Park and making of Lost World, obviously. Uh, basically, that video is the making of it as well, which is like that. Uh, got an official souvenir magazine now. It's a bit of a story behind this one. I remember getting this. It's bloody old now. But I remember getting this and I remember. That's such an awesome picture. I remember getting this and. Uh, Flicking through and uh, getting to this certain page. Where is it? This one, where I absolutely flipped out because I'd never seen this toy. I'd never even seen it. Even though I'd heard lots about it, I'd never even seen it. So this was my first glimpse at it, and I was like, awesome. I've got uh, my InGen t shirt up there, which I still wear now. I've got my Jurassic Park Island tour t shirt, which still fits me, even though I had that years ago. I've also got my original Jurassic Park t-shirt when I was little. I mean, that thing is tiny. I might actually frame that. Uh, I've got a comic 
framed, which is actually the part comic I was talking about earlier, which I have from this, which is really interesting. I mean, uh, if I can find it quickly. Yeah, that page there in the comic is that one there. And I've also got framed my Lost World poster, which I actually got the day I saw the film at the cinema, which is pretty awesome. Yep. God. Why have I got so many? Ugh. Right. Okay, now, before I move on to this section, I've got to tell you, some of these toys are ruined. <laughs> uh, when I was little, I had this thing where I was... Um, I like to customise my toys. I mean, if I weren't satisfied with the way a toy company produced a toy, I would do things to them to make them more like how I want them to. I'll get to that. I'll explain it in a second. Anyway, I'm going to start down here with the characters. See, I've got Dennis Nedry here. I mean, he's got one arm missing. You could pull him off. I've got Dennis Nedry. Robert Muldoon, as me and my friends like to call him, El Floppo, because he's... He, God, he's floppy. He's just all over the place. Great for when the rapture attacks him. Clever girl. Uh, I've got Ellie Sattler, uh, Alan Grant, obviously. A little bit yellow in the face, looks a bit ill. And Tim Murphy, there he is. Now the weapons, I've got some. I've uh, got two Robert Muldoon guns. I don't know why I've got two, but there they are. Anyway, and then I've got some Lost World figurines. I've got uh, Dieter Stark, but I've lost the comp uh, compy with him. And Carter, who rode the bike. I've got the bike here, but the bike handle I lost and then this broke clip together so I've glued it I mean it's just you know still got it um, and then we've got some Jurassic Park 3 ones we've got Billy and Alan Grant now I don't like the Jurassic Park 3 ones I mean look at Billy okay let's use this let's get Dean Stark here I mean these ones are all like the same size I mean look at yeah you know they sort of fit into the world you know they can all be together but look at Billy he's a grown man he looks like He's in the background. I mean, even Alan Grant. Look at Alan Grant to the original Alan Grant. It's bullshit. You should make him big. Anyway, yeah. But not only that, they made like the characters really small, but they gave him the most humongous guns in the world. I mean, these ones, okay, fair enough to some extent. But these weapons are massive. And I mean, I don't remember this weapon being in Jurassic Park 3. Screw it, you know? Whatever. But anyway, Billy was awesome because he came with a glider that clips to his back. I thought that was pretty cool. Like that. Uh, the baby dinosaurs. I've got some babies from Dress Park 3. Uh, so I've got the raptor, the spinosaurus, baby triceratops, which I don't know why. This is my favourite baby dinosaur they ever released from Dress Park. I don't know. I really like it. I've got this Tyrannodon here from Dress Park 3, which is awesome. I've got the big one from The Lost World, which still flaps its wings and opens its mouth. But anyway, and I've got the uh, Quetzalcoatlus up here. Which was my favourite out of all the Pteranodon ones because, uh, oh, just so badass. Look at that. Brr. My Dimetrodon, which sadly has, you can see, he's got no sail. Yep. Got a Pachycephalosaurus here, which is awesome. Triceratops from Jurassic Park 3. My big Triceratops from Jurassic Park 1 with the skin that comes out, which is pretty darn cool. Pop that back in there. With its head that lifts up. I love that toy. Uh, and then you've got the Coelophysis. Now these, weirdly enough, are one of my favourite ones. Because I don't know why. I just really like them. I like the way that you could bend them and stuff. And uh, I love this one a little bit too much. Because he's lost a foot there. But no, I really like those. And I might actually... these are, You can see how worn down they are. I might see if I can purchase some more. Box. This is quite new to my collection. I've got uh, Ian Malcolm Glider. I mean, I... Used to have a lot of the characters, but over the years they've just like either got lost or broken. So I figured I needed Ian Malcolm again. I went online, but I not only found Ian Malcolm, I found him in the glider, which I thought was awesome and never had that before. So I got that there. Okay, we've got the Raptors. Uh, I got this Raptor free. This is the Lost World one. I got this one free when I asked a, my mum, phoned up, sorry, a company to find the Frasher T Rex from the Lost World, and they said they're out of stock. For some reason, they sent me this one for free, so. Brilliant. I've got two of these raptors here. They're one of my favourites because I love the coloration of them. They're much like the first film sort of gloomy sort of look to them. And I've got a Jurassic Park 3 one here, which is awesome, I think. But it, he, he's not really like forward facing like those. So I didn't really find him very playable. He just sort of stood on a shelf and looked awesome. And this raptor was the first ever Jurassic Park toy I ever got. And I uh, still got him. And if he worked, Yeah, 
and it still works with the batteries in it as well from when I bought it. I don't know what batteries they used to make back then, but you know, little tails a bit chipped. But yeah, that's one of my favourite ones as well uh, because he's just so cool. And I do like the coloration. I like the way he's kind of like a vibrant orange, but he's not like the chaos effect dinosaurs where they overdid it a bit. It's got a Spinosaurus here from Jurassic Park 3. This is the only Spinosaurus I've got. I mean, I really, really, I don't know why I really love this one. One thing I didn't like about the Jurassic Park 3 toys was how they all had this dino damage that was just showing. I mean, these dinosaurs would be dead if they were just showing that, uh, the rib cage. And why is there muscles inside the rib cage? I never got that. I mean, why don't they just have a bit of skin, much like this one here? I mean, again, the, yeah, okay. But, yeah, why don't they have that? That was awesome. Um... Over here I've got Cyclops Raptor, still in its package, which is quite new to my collection, which is awesome because I'd never owned that when I was little. Got Nick Van Owen there, which is awesome. He looks really cool. Looks much like my friend Will. Yeah, there he is. It's awesome. But one thing about this is, he's got no hat. Whereas on the back, shows him Ginger with a hat. Both there and on the bottom. The prototype ones. Yet he's got dark hair, which he does in the film. There, but no hat. I don't know. I don't know. Now I've got the Pteranodon here from the first one. So I've got Pteranodons from all three films, which is awesome. But it's in a Spanish box. And I've got a Dilophosaurus here, which is awesome. I love this Dilophosaurus. I did. I used to have this one, but I've lost it. Uh, I used to have a lot of this. Well, I had all of this. But um, as you can see, some of it still remains. Some of it doesn't. Um... Big massive Lost World puppet, which I absolutely adore. I think that was awesome. Just looks so cool. Uh, right, onto vehicles. Now, <laughs> one thing about these vehicles is these toys got loved. I mean, I absolutely adore these toys, and I still do, even though, as you can see, oh god, if there's any collectors out there who hate seeing toys destroyed, I'm so sorry. But this one is absolute to shit. I mean, this one got so bashed up. These aren't even the right wheels. They're from a different car. I mean, it's all been torn, burnt. Uh, you know, the engine comes off still. I've lost everything with this. The gun, the windshield. I mean, that's just, oh, that's just falling out. Now that's glued down at the back. I mean, this thing I used as, when I was little, I used this mainly as a, uh, as a wreckage, basically. And all the other cars. This one's awesome. I love this one. Sticker's gone, but this one's awesome. I mean, the lights still come on and off. I absolutely love this toy. And uh, I, I didn't like the gun on the back. I took that off. Like, you know, how I said I would customize it. I took that off straight away. I didn't like that. It didn't look much like the film. Got that as well. And Dress Park 3. Same with this one. I mean, I took the. This had a huge blue net on the front, and I thought, no, oh, I didn't like that a bit. So I took it off, and it looks kind of like one of the ones from The Lost World that they chase all the dinosaurs down. I mean, I like this one. It's pretty fucking badass, but, you know, anyway. Okay, now I'm going to move on to something that's quite special. It's quite unique to my collection. Uh, an old friend of mine, his dad made this, um, and I can't remember exactly how it got onto my hands. But um, it did, anyway. So, one second. Let's get a character. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, he, he sort of... I don't know how it really ended up in my hands, but I got it. And this is... Even though it says Lost World, this is the uh, Raptor Feeder. I mean, you get the box. I made a million boxes. I haven't got any now. But you push it up, and you'd have the cage come up, and you'd have the inside where you could put all the toys. Uh, this is customised. No, there's no one else in the world you can get this. But like the characters would walk up, like they'd come up the stairs like that, and they could stand behind these barriers that were all there. Oh, that one's coming off. And you could stand behind that barrier there and look in and be like, "Hey, what's going on?" And then, oh, you know, you got the raptor in there, and he's oh, coming in, coming to eat in there. But I mean, this thing was so cool, and I, I remember being so darn excited when I got it home. Um, I can't, I can't even remember the reason why I've got it, um, but I do. Okay, so we've got the baby Rex here in Lost World with his broken leg. I've lost the uh, the cast that came with him. I've got the Junior T-Rex from the Jurassic Park 1, which is absolutely awesome. Love it. But I lost the skin thing, so what I did is I got some uh, plasticine, put it in there. Uh, yeah, customised my toys, as I see. Got the Bull T-Rex, which is quite new. Still roars. 
Are you going to roar again? No? Nope? Okay. Well, yeah. Yep, he's going to roar. Yep, this one is absolutely awesome. <clears throat> he's just so kick-ass. And he's so massive compared to everything else. You know, this one was absolutely amazing. I love it to bits. And since I saw it in that magazine all these years ago, I've always wanted it. And now I've got it. Uh, Thrasher T-Rex, obviously. I almost sought out the dinosaurs in my collection, but I got him a few years ago. And he's... Which is pretty darn awesome. Absolutely love it. Um, that's just so badass. I mean, that one looks the most like the ones out of the film, so I just love that one the most. It's just so cool. Now, my T Rex from the first film, when I was little, I wasn't satisfied with the way it looked red and black. And so I tried to repaint it. And I mean, this looks uh, just, I mean, I tried to recreate the colours. And you can see where it's worn at the neck where I've been holding it, and the face is all fucked. I mean, I need to rebuy this one. But this one is pretty darn cool. I mean, I loved the T Rex from the Jurassic Park, the first Jurassic Park toy line. Uh, I just wish I hadn't painted it all those years ago. At the time it looked awesome, but now it's just been worn down and it looks crappy. But I'll never get rid of that. I just think that's awesome. Anyway, so. Uh, they're all the toys. I mean, you've got the awesome thing at the back there, and you've got all these toys that are just pretty cool. I've collected all over the years. Yeah, so there you go. So we've got first part, all the videos and books and t shirts and stuff like that, and you've got all the toys. And uh, now we're going to move on to the little things, what we've got here. Uh, just before that, I've got a wobble board I made. These are all like custom things I made now. So you've got this wobble board I made with this Jurassic Park picture of a Spinosaurus. Uh, crappy looking raptor there, <laughs> uh, T-Rex and a Brachiosaurus, yeah, I was really proud of that T-Rex at the time, yeah, kind of looks like a worm though, <laughs> okay, so over here I've got a dress park visitor's badge, which is pretty cool, wear that, uh, interesting to note here, I've got this little tiny kind of thing, you got these in hula hoops, uh, see that? Hula hoops, back when Lost World came out, this is the Pachycephalosaurus one, and they pop up. God knows, I used to have every single one of these, but they've all been lost and destroyed and stuff. But this one is uh, survived the, over the years, and I've still got it. Uh, same with this raptor from Jurassic Park. I mean, that's just a rubber little raptor that came in a chocolate egg. I've still got it. Uh, that's a... That's a... Uh, plaster, that's what it is, yeah. It's plaster T-Rex mould from a... Puppet. I used to have a smaller one of that, but my friend's got it now. And that's from uh, taken from the inside. Poured this stuff in. I've got these micro machines that I repainted. So you got like the uh, the wreckage. If you can see that there. Yeah, you got the wreckage of one of the cars there, which is pretty awesome. Um, and we've got the Jeep from Jurassic Park that I painted with a broken windshield. Obviously, there we go. Red wheels as well, and a van that I customised to go with these little tiny like figurines. They're not Jurassic Park, but figurines here. I've got my uh, baby T-Rex, little metal baby T-Rex in Parasol Office. Got all these die-cast figurines here, which are pretty awesome. They came with these cards, which uh, were going to be in the video, but I couldn't find them in time. Got all these matchbox cars here, with like the trailer with the Raptor in it. And there's a baby T-Rex in that one as well, and the Jeeps, which are awesome. And there's this big truck that had a T-Rex on it, but the T-Rex snapped, and I think it's at my friend's house. But the guy, you'd move the T-Rex, and the guy would pop out and try and shoot it, but it would eat, he'd eat it. Which is pretty awesome. And this is my own customised little tiny T-Rex attack. So you've got Ian Malcolm running away down there. You can kind of see him. Next to the water rippling. You've got a, the baby T-Rex from Jurassic Park 3 coming out. And you've got like, the little nose sign. I went full out on this one. So you've got all the fence. You got the little car there, look, with the uh, just how big it is, my finger, with a little lamb's leg on top. Actually, I can pick this one up. It's not even stuck on. I was really proud of this paintwork I did years ago. Yeah, I was really proud of that. And you got like where the goat was eaten and everything. So yeah, and uh, also got my dress Park Four script <laughs> that is here. But um, if you want to read it, I mean, I don't know who would. If you want to read it, there's going to be a link under this video. And, 
And down here, oh yes, I've uh, got Jurassic Time, which is this album I downloaded from Jurassic Park Legacy, which uh, if you're a Jurassic Park fan, you should definitely download. This is uh, the number two version. It's like the memoirs of John Hammond, and it's pretty awesome. It gives an insight into the past of Jurassic Park really well. Anyway, uh, this is my collection. Uh, it's a bit of a long video, but uh, this is basically everything. I uh, hope you enjoyed looking at everything. I mean, it's a bit of an odd collection.